Hello everybody, my name is Levin and in this video I'm going to show you the examples and basics of TC2 Node Painter. First, before importing TC2 Node Painter, make sure you have TC2 2.32 or above to get the partial ge generation feature of TC2 and uh, only afterwards import TC2 Node Painter. So in the Node Painter folder you are going to see the documentation which is also available online. It's basically simple PDF document and uh, you also got the examples folder here and uh, the cage folder which is also an important part I'm going to go later on. So basically to check out the examples we're going to open examples and the scenes folder. Here we see two uh, scenes, with one the buy and paint demo and uh, the second the hide paint demo. The hide paint demo is the easiest of the two so we're going to check out that first. So after opening you should see a terrain like this. Open these two for a moment. And click generate once to make sure. So here we see um, a simple height setup and a large splat setup which is basically a simple example from TC2 for auto splat mapping. I'm going to show you that in a second. And here you got the paintable node itself and uh, some small cell detail for additional detail. On the um, paintable node you have both the painter component and an ordinary, ordinary node which is set on image. Uh, this is basically the fundamentals of uh, TC2 node painter but you do not have to set up the node, uh, I'll show you later. So in the node painter component you uh, see the, an I.O. section for saving and loading. You have the preview of the canvas where I can paint on. Two undo buttons, redo and undo. Um, a button to stop and start painting and switching between tools. And a section for the brush, for the brush um, shape and mode and intensity and whatever. And some additional uh, stuff we're going later on. Finally you also have a show settings button which is um, important to check out because uh, here most of the times if uh, the uh, if TC2 doesn't update when you have um, when, you, when you try to paint you either have this auto generate button not on or the setting here so before that we're going to check out how to paint right now so basically you should see this brush overlay on the terrain and you can just paint and you should see the splats automatically adjusting which is um, a good part about using TC2 to paint because TC2 allows you to automatically adjust the splats or other parts of the terrain like trees while you paint. You can also check out other um, forms of painting to subtract you could just use uh, well in the add mode you just use shift to subtract and the brush should turn red and this is basically it about the basic card painting example this we're going to reproduce later on in the video uh, it's not very hard actually so should be fairly quick uh, finally take a look at the biome painting demo to get a sneak peek at what is possible in later on basically if you uh, op check out the bio manager, see we have outsourced the node painter component onto a separate object. Um, this basically, you see directly this is not grayscale anymore but has multiple channels which you can select down here. Basically this works similar to um, splat map painting in uh, default, in the default terrain. Uh, what this does is assign the canvas to multiple nodes in the um, in the actual actual graph. If you take a look at down here, you see you have per output oops, wait a moment, per output you have three channels. Three height height channels and three splat channels. Each masked with uh, with a, a mask like this, which is actually the painted canvas. If you check out what we painted you see this uh, corresponds to the masks. This is the basics of um, how this all works. Basically with uh, these channels you can mask multiple nodes 
um, together. So just try it out by painting again. So right now we have the mountain. And also notice one problem I did not have auto generate enabled. Make sure you have that enabled. And now you can start painting whatever biome you want. Just having a little desert here. Desert here. Alright, so that should be it for the biome painting example. Uh, as I said, um, we're going to check out later on in a later video how we're going to set up it, so just stay tuned. For now we're going to recreate the height painting example. I'm going to start with this new scene, a new terrain. And just creating a new node. and without um, changing anything we can assign the node painter component just searching node or node or painter should be enough going to move it up and right now we're represented with a um, blank UI with no canvas assigned so you can't export right now also obviously so uh, what you can do in this box we can create a new canvas which we do right now Um, the size is 1k and we uh, can choose between different channels, uh, different formats right now color for painting the color output obviously multi for uh, blending multiple channels or whatever you want together like biomes, forests or other stuff and uh, the value for grayscale which you're going to do right now and you should be able to paint right away it generate runs And this should be okay. So once you get that, you can um, first set up the auto split mapping to get a better idea what we're doing right now. So just check out TC2 examples presets and the split map folder, and drag and drop the grass first rock or any other preset in there. For the case of grass first rock, we have to adjust it to remove the highlights and by clicking normalize. And now we got a better representation of what we're actually doing. So this is basically it for everything I wanted to show you. Um, one important thing about the internals of TC2 Node Painter. Um, right now, this is not saved. This is neither saved in the in the scene nor in any file. So until we save the scene, this is not saved. What we have is a cage folder right here. Um, this is where all the painters of all different scenes are saved. So if we just hit Control S to save the scene, you also notice it, uh, it highlights this uh, cage file named Heights, which is, which, uh, which is our canvas basically. So right now we have uh, the canvas saved. Um, this can be used in multiple scenes if you uh, want, but basically you have to um, make sure if you delete the scene now, if this was basically just a demo scene right now, if, you, if, if I would delete that later on, I also um, would delete this one to uh, prevent garbage. Um, to check out which um, cage files you're actually using, you can click on the little add E right here for edit. I can once edit the name and also check out your cage file and actually change your cage file. What you actually can do is uh, use shared cage file. So I can just drag and drop the train height cage file of the demo scene in here. And we actually have that right now. It does look a bit different because of the map, but it's the same. So if we save right now, um, we can just make a remarkable change like all dot on this here save it now it's also saved to the cage file if we then visit the other scene where the cage file is referenced and just update generate we also see this below so basically you can use uh, the same um, cage file in multiple scenes which we do not want for now but you can do that
following it to the heights and saving it so this is basically it um, if you have any further questions or support requests you can uh, email me uh, pm me on the forums or write a post um, also remember to check out the online forums right now um, wait a minute yeah, on my webpage levingaya.com you, you can check out the documentation which is uh, an online version of the donut run and it's always up to date so I hope that helped you and see you in the next video